Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. So today we are going to study the method of crystallization, right? Crystallization, why important? Hai? Actually, crystallization is a purification process. Hai. Crystallization is a purification process for impure substances, right? Suppose आपको ये कॉपर सल्फेट कहीं दे दिया है रॉ सैंपल है कहीं से भी ये तो डब्बे में है तो ये तो प्योर है राइट कहीं आपको रॉ रॉ सब्सटेंस मिल गया है राइट रॉ सब्सटेंस दे दिया आपको उसको अब वो इम्प्योर है प्योर है आपको पता नहीं आपको उसको क्या करना है प्योर करना है तो सबसे बेस्ट तरीका आपके लिए कौन सा रहेगा क्रिस्टलाइजेशन का क्या क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इसमें हम लोग क्रिस्टलाइजेशन में बेसिकली हम लोग क्या करते हैं एक सोल्यूशन से हम लोग सॉलिड फॉर्म बनाते हैं क्या बनाते हैं लिक्विड से सॉलिड फॉर्म बनाते हैं तो ये जो कन्वर्जन है फ्रॉम लिक्विड टू सॉलिड ये हमें ये हमें क्या दे देता है एक प्योर सब्सटेंस दे देता है ठीक है तो आज हम देखेंगे कॉपर सल्फेट का क्रिस्टलाइजेशन राइट सो द मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द कॉपर सल्फेट क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इज बीकर चाहिए वॉट इज दिस फाइव वन फाइव बीकर एंड टू टू फिफ्टी बीकर अ फनल अ स्टैंड फिल्टर पेपर गैस बर्नर वायर गॉज ट्राईपोर्ट स्टैंड एंड द केमिकल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर देम इज कॉपर सल्फेट एंड सल्फरिक एसिड राइट सल्फरिक एसिड वी नीड टू हैंडल विथ केयर राइट वी हैव डायल्यूटेड द सल्फरिक एसिड राइट सो दैट वी डोंट हैव टू सो दे इज नो डेंजर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज रीन्स ऑल द एपरेटिस Rinse all the apparatus with distilled water. What does this do? What does rinsing? How does rinsing help in? What do we say? Purification of the apparatus is that it clears all the ions, excessive ions which are present in this, right? See, we all know that water contains minerals, right? So to remove that minerals and demineralize the apparatus, we just rinse it with the distilled water. So ju just a little bit of distilled water. and we rotate it gently we rotate it all the way down and then we throw the water right this is the process of rinsing and similarly we do we do this with all our apparatus so there is no contamination it okay so okay similarly with the funnel okay now we can say that our apparatus is contamination free so what we have to do is first heat some amount of water let's say what it is right now the reading is what is the reading right now 150 right 150 is the 150 ml is the reading we will put uh, 50 ml of water in the beaker okay now what is the reading 100 100 is the reading right so we have put 50 ml of water in the beaker right now we will light on the gas burner not to not to not in a high flame we will just light the gas burner okay whenever you light a burner do it very carefully okay we just need a low flame we just need a low flame right so we will adjust it according to our need okay it's turned off we will set it on a low flame okay we will let this water boil while boiling we will put some amount of dilute sulfuric acid remember what is dilute sulfuric acid why it is put in the water to prevent the hydrolysis of copper sulfate so that copper sulfate remains it uh, remains copper sulfate and does not go undergo hydrolysis we put dilute sulfuric acid in the solution in the process of crystallization all right we just put a few drops right okay 
we let it heat okay now our water is has been not boiled actually it is warm right so now we will start we start putting copper sulfate powder in it right so that and stir it gently with the glass rod okay so would you give me a hand and just put one by one spatula on the in the water yeah okay very nice see now what we are seeing that when we put the copper sulfate in the solution what happens the copper sulfate gets dissolved right the copper sulfate get dissolved in the solution now we will we will keep putting this uh, we will keep putting uh, copper sulfate in the solution until our solution gets saturated now what is saturation okay the solution in which no more solute can be dissolved very nice now we will just keep on, keep on adding copper sulfate copper sulfate powder in the solution right very nice and we will stir gently right we will stir gently when one one spatula has been dissolved after then only you need to put the another spatula okay so right now what we are doing we are making a solution right we are making a solution of, out of a powder and after that what we are going to do we are going to make a solid solid from the solution so this is the process of crystallization what is the color of the solution blue so copper the color of copper sulfate is blue where does the blue color come from actually the uh, formula of copper sulfate is cuso4.5h2o right that 5h2o thing gives the color blue color to the copper sulfate solution if we heat the copper sulfate then what happens when we heat the copper sulfate the color changes from blue to white because water evaporates and it takes away the color of copper sulfate all right put keep on keep on going this also gets there is a long time till the saturation point right you keep on going this is a bit lengthy process but uh, it will be fruitful at the last when we see the copper crystals there are some bigger particles too right the bigger particles of copper sulfate too what we do, what you need to do is you just press them hit them with a glass rod so that it will break okay it will be easy for okay there is still some point
okay now we can see some of the copper crystals are being precipitated in the bottom of the solution just see and verify check it check it out do you see some copper crystals in the bottom see there are copper crystals which are moving around around in the bottom right see come here up from the above see from the above yeah they are copper crystals right so that means our copper crystals is no more being dissolved in the solution that means our solution has attained saturation now what we are going to do is that we are going to turn off the lamp we are going to turn off the burner and we are going to put it down okay whenever you hold a hot beaker hold it from the above because you see this part is being is is been made thicker because so that you don't get, you don't feel hot when you hold it okay now what we are going to do is that we are going to filter this we are going to filter this solution right with the help of filter paper this is a filter paper of dw039 uh, there are many the filter papers with various thickness right but this is a filter paper with which which number 039 so how we are going to fold the filter paper and place it in the funnel we are just going to make a semi circle it is a circle right yes, we are going to make a semi circle now we are going to again half the semi circle it will be in a shape of a cone right now we are going to you we are going to make it a cone we are going to make it a cone see this is a shape of a cone right now we are going to place this cone inside the inside the funnel we are going to place this inside the funnel to make it stable right to make it stable we are going to pour some distilled water in it what we are going to do we are going to pour some distilled water in it so that it places gently in the funnel okay it does not move we can also check the filtration process of the filter paper right see the water droplets are water droplets are coming from the coming from down right now we are going to place it in the holder we are going to place it inside the holder right and we are going to place place a beaker we are going to place a 50 ml beaker below it so that when our filtrate when we filter when we put the solution in the beaker where whichever the filtrate will flow it will flow in the beaker all right now we just put this solution in the funnel see our filtrate it our filtrate is coming down to our, uh, to the beaker right drop wise it will take some time right and after when the filtrate will totally flow in the beaker we are going to leave it to cool after cooling it will change into crystals this is the process of crystallization and that crystal will be the pure pure form of copper sulfate okay let it let it pour down slowly right don't don't force it or don't uh, apply any kind of force on it let it pour let it pour it by itself all the impurities all the impurities in the copper sulfate will be left behind in the filter paper right it it will be left behind in the filter paper so this is the filtration process we are just going to wait gently till all the all the solution pours down in the in the beaker okay so our filtration process is going on right but we can see that our filtration process has slowed down this is because due to the particles yes pa particles coagulation in, in the filter filter paper tip ab wahan pe gande jo bhi impurities hai wahan pe aake kya ho gaye hain settle down ho gaye jiski wajah se aapka filtration kya ho raha hai disturb ho raha hai aap usko chhed nahi sakte aapko wait karna hi padega because if we 
if you try to move those particles what what it can happen what can happen it can tear down the filter paper and our whole filter filtration process will be a waste we have to repeat it again right so let let it let it filter and after that once the filtrate is our ready when once the filtrate is ready we will let it to cool down once when it will cool down we uh, crystals will appear crystal will appear and we will see the crystals of copper sulfate solution right so this is the process of copper sulfate solution for now we are just going to wait till the till all the our filtrate is filtered right and after that we are going to let this solution cool down so when it cool down we will get our crystals okay thank you okay so whatever we did in this practical uh, you are uh, you are advised uh, you are guided to write them in the practical notebook write them in your practical notebook and with the with proper aim chemical requires apparatus required procedure and the result which we are going to see uh, when we when the filter is cool when the filter has cooled down okay so yeah we have to write all these in the practical uh, practical notebook okay and bring it tomorrow and also you will have to do this practical one by one individually on the next day all right Yes. Okay.